The Rural Physician Action Plan, or RPAP, was established over 25 years ago to fulfill a need to bring physicians to rural Alberta. During this time, medical doctors like Carla Folan and Eugene Landsbergen have answered the call. They've embraced the small town lifestyle. And now, like other doctors in their small community, they're embracing a new approach to rural health care. Physicians alone don't make for healthy communities. What you really need is a true health workforce. You need people who can work collaboratively in multidisciplinary teams to provide care across the entire continuum of health services. Doctors Folan and Landsbergen have adopted a multidisciplinary approach at their medical clinic. And, uh, We've got a complex care plan going on with right. diabetics. Oh. I think the team base and especially it's team based with the specific expertise, like a nurse practitioner, like an RN, like a medical yeah, office assistant, can complement care okay. in a way that a single individual physician cannot. More heads is better than one. Sometimes if you have a complex patient, you can sit down and chat with your team and you can come up with some ideas that you never thought of on your own. Mm -hmm. RPAP is evolving to meet the changing needs of a multidisciplinary approach. I'm going to work with a bit more of an anticipation of a great working day together in a team. I'm a team person. Rural health practitioners have a different scope of practice than our colleagues in the city. We're it. We're the only healthcare providers within our community. And because of that, we all work very much to full scope of practice. For physicians like Drs. Warren and Landsbergen, that can mean dividing their time between seeing patients at the medical clinic, making rounds in emergency, delivering babies, and visiting the senior center. And the only way that we can provide top quality health care when the physicians can't be available all the time is to rely on a team-based approach. The reason that this model is successful is because we trust each other. Continuity of care for a senior population is the most important thing and it's much easier to to communicate with them when they know your face and they know who you are and they trust you. Like Geraldine. Not only does the multidisciplinary approach benefit the patient, it provides a richer, more rewarding experience for healthcare professionals. And realizing how much more fun, how much more gratifying, how much uh, better it feels to practice in a place where you're part of a team, part of a family. Mm -hmm. And you know that when you're faced with a situation, you don't, you're not the only one there. You have many people with many skills and many backgrounds that you can pull on to say, okay, how can we give this best care to this patient? They're not having to go to Red Deer, they're not having to go to Calgary, they're not having to, you know, go all over the province to go see these people to help them with their health, which let's be honest, if they have to drive everywhere to see it, they get overwhelmed. A lot of these people are elderly, a lot of these people are low income. Our front end staff are as big of a part of the team as anyone else. We're all that team. And so when we make decisions or we're talking about starting a pilot project, everybody comes together. Everybody puts their heads together because everybody sees different pieces of the puzzle. Patients at the primary care network also benefit from the many health services offered right here in their hometown, thanks to a multidisciplinary approach. It's, it's beautiful. The doctors are extremely supportive and the patients love it because there's such a close relationship here. You can walk down the hall if there's a question or you need a prescription. The team is, is very cool because everybody is doing their own kind of job, but on the whole, we all, we're all very concerned about making sure that the patients get what they need. A renewed RPAP will offer enhanced support to rural Alberta communities supporting their efforts to attract, retain, and educate a broad range of healthcare professions. We will continue to recognize rural healthcare heroes, and we will be a strong voice for rural health issues in Alberta. A thank you from the Sundry Hospital Futures Committee, because we appreciate your contribution to healthcare in our community. Well, thank you so yeah. much. No. One of the most amazing things about it is these patients getting better control of their diseases or improving their health and being able to do it in their hometown. I just find it an amazing opportunity to make a difference. There is going to be a transition with the Rural Physician Action Plan to an organization that is starting to deliver the same sort of services to the entire health workforce. And I think that's going to result in healthier rural communities in Alberta.